Hello all, in this video we are going to understand the basics of instruments used in current electricity practicals. This is a very useful video for all science students from grade 8 onwards. This is a battery eliminator. It is connected with AC mains and it gives DC voltage in its output. You can vary the knob settings and set the output DC voltage accordingly from 1.5 volts to maximum 12 volts. Red terminal is the positive terminal and the black one is negative. So 230 volts AC flows in and 1.5 to 12 volts DC output voltage we get. Ammeter an instrument for measuring either alternating or direct current in amperes. This one measures direct current up to 1 ampere. Ammeter usually has a very low resistance and is always connected in series with the circuit. It is available in different ranges. Like if you want to measure very small amount of current, you can go for milliampere meters as well. Voltmeter, an instrument used for measuring the potential difference between any two points in an electrical circuit. It is always connected in parallel across the load. It usually has a high resistance so that it takes up negligible current from the circuit. This is galvanometer. Galvanometer is used to measure very small current of the order of microamperes or milliamperes. It can be converted into voltmeter and ammeter too. It is also used to find the direction of electric current in the circuit. On comparing ammeter and galvanometer, you can see that the needle pointing zero of the galvanometer is at the middle whereas of the ammeter is on extreme left. Galvanometer is very very sensitive compared to the ammeter as this one can read 20 microamperes if the needle deflects to one division and the maximum 600 microamperes as it has 30 divisions. Ammeter does not show the direction of current whereas galvanometer does. This is the resistance box. It contains resistors of different values. Its main application is to control the current which flows through the circuit. These are two knobs with which we can connect it with the battery. So if I remove this key, this resistance box is going to offer 1 ohm resistance. If I remove one more, so 2 plus 1, so total 3 ohm resistance will be offered. One more, 2 plus 2 plus 1, 5 ohm. So this resistance box would offer 5 ohm resistance. So if I remove this, all the keys, then it would maximum offer 210 ohm resistance, but I have to make sure that I don't have to remove the infinite one. Now this infinite key, if I remove it, then the circuit would become open, no current would come out of the battery, which means the infinite resistance is being offered by this resistance box. Now as per Ohm's law, V is equal to I into R, if R is infinity the current coming out would be zero and the circuit would simply be an open circuit. This is rheostate. It is also known as a variable resistor. Rheostate is made up of very closely spaced wires made up of constantin and manganin. There are three terminals, terminal A, terminal B and terminal C. This is known as jockey which can slide over the entire apparatus. It can be used as a fixed resistor of 800 ohms. So if I connect terminals A and B, it will behave as a fixed resistor of 800 ohms. But if I connect terminal A and terminal C, then we can use this as a variable resistor.